السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويش يو هابي داي اند جود داي بروسبرس لايف ان شاء الله وريفر يو ار ونيفر يو ار ان ذيس وورلد اند از يو مايت هاف بين فولوينج مي اي واز ان تركي ميتينج وذ ايراكي سيفل سايتي اورجانيزيشن اند سي ان سيفل سايتي اورجانيزيشن اوفر ذا لاست ويك اور سو اند ذا مين ايم اوف سوتش ميتينج واز واتس نيكست When we are living in a situation of in, in, in armed conflicts and we are preparing the countries for peace, we have to prepare uh, our peace uh, projects, the post-war project, post-conflict project, especially community project. Today we're going to talk about something else, which is talking about a society's enemies. Okay, who are they? Uh, We used to have a say when we were actually young kids, where we came from, saying that your uh, friend, friend indeed, is friend in need. And the friend indeed is friend in need. You find him or her every time next to you, especially when you are at hardship. Okay? Another say or proverb, Say, Habibak ibla'lak al-zarat wa adawak yitmanalak al-zarat. Your enemy would love to see you doing wrong. But your friend can swallow your dirt and protect you from doing the wrong. Today, because we are living in a very gloomy atmosphere globally, especially with the spread of the social media light reference center, wherever they are and anywhere, with the different conflicting messages, we have to identify it, how to identify how we protect ourselves, how we protect our families, how we protect our societies, how to protect our country, how, how we can protect humanity. Who is our enemy? Those people who fight against our religion, whether we are Christian, Jews, Muslims, and others. Those people who are disrespecting our culture. Those people who are demeaning or uh, insulting our values. Those people who make mockery of our languages. Those people who do not want us to read the history of our parents and our ancestors who built great civilizations. Those people who do not respect our tradition, the way we live, the way you build the family, the way you build the community. Those people really are not your friends because they are fighting the principles of your life, the principles of your community, the principles that can build your society. Also, those people who prevent good from reaching you, they envy you. They don't want you to be advanced. They don't want any good thing to come to you. Oh my God, don't give it to him. Don't give it to her. Don't tell them. They hate. The people who build their philosophy of thinking on, on hatred. Those people who do not want you to become educated and want you to be ignorant all the time. Those people who are monopolizing science and technology and don't want to pass it over to you because they want to use you and abuse you. Prevent knowledge, they're monopolizing knowledge, science and technology. No, they don't want to let you understand the root causes of the solution and the essence of the knowledge and the education that can elevate you. Those people who let you all the time accept huh, what the half solution, and in spite of the fact that you are able to make long-term sustainable solution, innovative solution, and you have the ability, and you have the vision, and you have the power, but they do not let you. 
to build the process of having this long-term sustainable solution. All the time, they put you down. Said, oh, accept this. Don't go further. You can't do it. No, no, no. The no people. Those people who discourage you all the time. Oh, it's too difficult. Oh, don't have resources. Oh, don't have people to help you. Oh, don't try. People before you failed. Always let you down all the time. Never encourage you. Never. You stupid. You ignorant. You dumb. See, remember the story of the mother of Addison. When the teacher sent Addison home with a letter to his mother and he gave it to her and she read the letter to him say my son said my what what mommy said the teacher saying that because you are super intelligent we cannot afford to have some super intelligent individual like you in our a school so i will teach you at home and you will teach yourself at home and she never told him that the teacher saying in the letter or said in the letter that you're stupid and they don't want you to put him, they don't want him to be in the class and they will actually throw him out of the school. She never told him because she always, always promoting him, always motivating him. When she died later on, years later on, and he became one of the pioneering scientists on earth, he opened the, a box and found the letter from the school. And he found his mother was the one who changed his life and made him this innovative pioneer for humanity. Discourage you, let you down, reduces your credibility. No, 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 those people are, look, 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 look at them. Even they can't talk properly, they can't dress properly, they can't talk properly. Huh? And weakens your determination. You have determination to go say, no, no, come back. Don't do it. Don't do it. Who else? Those people who create social dependency syndrome. They don't want you to become independent. They want you always to become consumer, not producer. They don't want to empower you. Because they want to colonize you and your society and your community and your country who creates the social dependency syndrome not the social empowerment of every human being in the society those people who those, those people who do not promote marriage under personal freedom and promote sexual promiscuity as under modernity for me the family is the most important civil society organization in any country. The family is the cornerstone of building any society, any community, any country, any nation, any civilization. The family is the unit which can bring generation forward. Those young people who failed are failing to build a family are very weak and very vulnerable. Even if they have the highest degree of education, even if they have, they're having the most sophisticated education, jobs, and highest income, but they are weak because they cannot take the responsibility of building a generation to come. This is something which, without a family, you don't have a nation. Without a family, a proper family, which is a husband and wife and children and the in-laws and the, the other extended families, don't have a nation. You don't have culture. You don't have generations to come. Those people who lobby against independence of civil such organization from the state. If we are living in a state, we have civil such sector, civil such organization of a state institution, then we govern government institution, a government organization. Those people who are against civil society sector, against civil society organization, Again, the separation between power of the state 
an institution from the government institution are really the people who would like to create another pharaoh to control the country. One man, one shot. You only follow me. I don't lie. That's what the pharaoh of Egypt was saying to people thousands of years ago. We have pharaohs like him today in different countries who only want you as a nation, you might be 500 million, 200 million, 70 million, whatever it is, only follow him and undermining your capability and your mental ability and your education. Those who lobbies against the independence of civil society organizations from the state, government, and encourages freezing their assets. The easiest thing, stop this organization to freeze their assets. They are against, they are your enemies. Those people who, pro, who legalize and promote pornography, moral corruption, abnormal behavior, and call it civility and civilization. In every society, in any society, their values, their culture, their moralities, their ethics, their religion, this has to be protected. Don't force me. Okay? Don't. Don't. You spread pornography, then problem happen later on of sexual harassment or uh, raping or, 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 or. You let people to have drugs. Then you have a generation who is not able to be a productive generation, educated generation. This is wrong. Okay? Those people who are forcing their opinion by force do not believe in dialogue. Do not believe in sitting, exchanging the views together. Do not believe in pluralism, plurality. Do not believe in social cohesion. They don't believe. They force their opinion. In certain countries, especially during the 50s and 60s, communism and socialism were on the peak. And some military leaders were forcing these ideas on the nations. So when those military leaders died or passed away, people came back to normality. If you have, you are not allowed to speak, you listen to me, because I am the one who will show you where to go, what to do, how you be guided as a leader. They don't believe in plurality and social cohesion. Those people who are not transparent with you, they are double-faced. They are not credible to you. Also, they don't have any accountability to hold them back accountable to. I'll give you an example. I've been saying before September 11th and after September 11th, what is the definition of terrorism? Up till now, we don't have a definition of terrorism. What is the definition of radicalism? Well, up till now, we don't have definition of radicalism. What definition, what's the definition of extremism? Up till now, we don't have a definition of extremism. Now, Islamophobia, people are resisting to put a definition for it and to let people like we have uh, anti-Semitic law and others, we need people to protect Muslims. They don't want it. Because people feel that Muslims are guilty till they prove otherwise. And this is what we found in the New Zealand incident of the terrorist attack on the mosque, that is some of the global leaders, whether they are religious or political, did not denounce this act by this individual terrorist as an act of terrorism. Believe me or not. Those people who, will, who always want you to become a follower, not a leader, Huh? A listener, not a speaker. To say what they say, 
not what you want to say. To understand that your interest is their interest. Your guidance is their guidance. Say it again. Okay. Those people who want you to be a follower, not a leader. A listener, not a speaker. To say what they say. And their interest is your interest. And their guidance is your guidance. This is exactly what Allah talk about Pharaohs in the Holy Quran. Those people who sell you cheap. When a problem happens, your credibility in your country goes down, there's a revolution against you, so they sell you. This is what exactly happened to Marcus of Philippines last century and to uh, Shah of Iran in the last century. Even the Shah was a, a dying, sick man and none of his partner, global partners, accepted him to have medical treatment in their country. Not only that, and when you are falling down, they unite with your enemies against you and leave you to fight your corner alone. Those people are like the pseudo currency, the false currency. Well, good mark on one side. Okay, to show. Like the leather keep changing its skin. The desert's yellow on the trunk of the tree is, is brown. Near the green leaflets of the tree is green. Next to the flower, it is blue or red or orange or whatever you call it. Keep changing the colors of the skin. Okay. Those people are like a parasite that infects the body before eating it. Those people really, actually, who are your enemy? You have to find them. Those people who, what do you call it in, in English, uh, applex your wrongs for you. Yani, uh, make your wrong to be something good for you. I am God. Do this is against morality. Do this is against humanity. Do this is against uh, uh, the law. No, just do it. Those people, they don't want you to become a good and strong, able man. Number 15 is those people who present arts, sins as arts, lies as media, hypocrisy as politics, honesty as idiocy, manhood as stupidity, family links as defaults, and chestness as backwardness phenomena. Say it again. Those people who present sins as arts, lies as media, hypocrisy as politics, honesty as agency, manhood as stability, family links as defaults, and chestness, chestness as backwardness phenomena. This all phenomena. Those people are the friends of the false messiah, the antichrist, who will be coming, actually, and Allah mentioned in, in the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that on his forehead it's written, I am not a believer, but people will follow him because they will benefit from his wealth. They will benefit from what he does. But they remember, they don't want to see that he is the Antichrist and he is the false Messiah that coming to uh, deceive them and throw into her fire. If you want to protect ourselves from all these else, it's here. You know this? Can you see this? This is my chest, this is my body, and this is my heart. And the Prophet said, Allah in the Jasad the Mudra, the Saluha Saluha Jasad Kullu, where the Fasad Fasad Jasad Kullu, Allah here Kalb. In the body of the man and the woman is this kind of small piece of flesh called heart. If it's good, the whole body will be good. If it's bad, the whole body will be bad. So look after our hearts. 
Look after our intention. Look after our inner soul and how can we clean and keep cleansing our inner soul to protect the whole body, the heart, the mind, the soul. From what? From those enemies of humanity. From the Antichrist. From the false messiah. From the lying media men. You see, when we look at all this, the solution is in our heart. And the solution is in our tongue. Between the heart and the tongue. The tongue can say the bad things, which will throw us into hellfire. The heart, nobody can see the illnesses inside our hearts. What, what my advice to myself and all of us is to ask God to keep cleansing our hearts. To stay at night where nobody can see us and keep asking God, please God, save our life. Please God, save ourselves from the sins inside our hearts. These are some characteristics of your enemy who is trying to pave the way for the Antichrist, but will fail. You know why? Because you, as believers, will not be fooled by him. You, as believers, will understand who is he or who is she to be protected from what they are doing to you. I pray for you and for all of you to be protected from this Antichrist or false Messiah, and but first of all from the heart and the disease of the heart. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. See you another time, inshallah.